comet bore a lesson understanding the baptism in the name of Yahweh Shai. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son's name, who is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone, taught me the truth of the Spirit, single honors to the elect, peace and blessing to the one third, and to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. This, um, this question came off very sincere. So I did reply to the individual at called by his name, 97. Uh, his question was, do you all provide baptism in the name of Yahweh Shai? And um, just in my mind, the first thing I thought about the baptism being the word. So I thought about these precepts and you can see them here. But the reason why I'm doing this video is because maybe other people may have a question about maybe it's, maybe people really, really, really want to be baptized because uh, I didn't screenshot it, but the individual also replied back. Um, the brother, I believe, I believe it's the brother. So um, they said that you know they do. I guess they did get really you know baptized in water, and it's not a sin. It's not a sin to say that, but it's just John the Baptist let us know that after this after this baptism, you will be baptized in the name, also in the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Because Yahweh Shai said, I will be with you to the end of the world, end of the age, which is now. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of the follower. Remember, Yahweh Shai even said, I will declare thy name to thy brethren. That's in Hebrews, the second chapter. Okay, so um, this is my response. I said, true baptism isn't by water anymore, but by the word and the spirit. Okay, Mark, 1, Mark chapter 1, verse 6 through 8. And John was clothed with camel's hair. This is John the Baptist, not John the Revelator, okay? And with a girdle of a skin about his loins, like a belt, but it was um, made out of hide, I would say. And he, and he did eat locusts and wild honey. Hmm, sound like Elijah. And preached, saying, There cometh one mightier than I, than I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. You're talking about being very humble, right? Indeed, I indeed have baptized you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit. And the reason why this is very sincere, because look at, when you look at baptisms today, you can have those. You may think they eat them. They could be Jake's like in the in the Dixie line on the Bible Belt that they to this day people get baptized. Catholics get it baptized. You know, like people have infants, newborn babies, and they get them baptized and everything. But you have heathens doing these acts, right? And remember, when we get, the baptism happened in the Jordan River, Yaradon. There's also a, a, a passage in the Bible where there was a, I think it was a, it was a king of a, of a heathen, heathen nation that had some kind of skin disease. And they call Elisha, who was the predecessor of Eli, I think they were, that's the right word, the predecessor of Elijah, the major prophet, who gave Elisha a double portion of his spirit, which is he told the man to go, I think he said, dip himself seven times in the river Jordan. And he got rid of the, the disease, pretty much, whatever, right? So even the baptism back then, understand who was doing it and where it was done. You're getting baptized now in like tap water. You know, I'm now I'm not trying to downplay if anybody really, you know, got baptized and believe in it. But I'm saying understand who the baptism was, who was doing the baptism and who it was for. Our baptism is in the word, in the scripture. Because remember what the Lord said. He that, believeth, uh, he that believeth on me, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. If you're out in the wilderness, where do you want to get your water from? A puddle or from a river? You go from a river because it gets filtered. It's living water. It's life in that. Right? Alkaline, so to say. So this word is what to cleanse you. That same water. That's how parabolic this word is. So heavy, man. And it comforts you and it cleanses you. You know, things you thought were right was wrong. That's why Paul said in Acts, this is very heavy. Well, Paul said in Acts, the 17th chapter, I think the 31st verse, he said, the Lord winked at your ignorance. Now repent. 
Well, who do you think Paul was saying that to first? Himself, because he was persecuting the church. Understand? And during that time, think about it. How could have how could Saul have cleansed himself from his sins? John the Baptist didn't baptize him. It was in the name. It was in the name. Read Acts the fifth chapter, the twenty seven verse on down. It said, "Did we not straightly tell you not to to um preach in his name? Now you bring like all the distress, all this heat on us." They they said something like that. And Peter said, "We are to obey. We are to obey God rather than man." Right. So, anyways, I know I kind of was ranting, but now let's go to John six and sixty three. It is the spirit that quickeneth; the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Understand, it is the spirit that quickeneth means give you life. I think it's in Philippians. Paul said, he said, without Yahweh Shai, we're dead. But with Yahweh Shai, there is life everlasting, pretty much even if we die. Right? So it was like, what's life in Yahweh Shai? So there's life in the word. Because Yahweh Shai is the word, remember? John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. Then when you jump down to verse 14, and it said, and the word was manifested and walked with us. <laughs> the first is heavy. First creation of Yahweh was Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai created everything else. The Lord gave him a knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Read Colossians, the first chapter. Understand? So in the word, when he speak, when he's talking, it's, it's Yahweh Shai, the spirit of Yahweh Shai, which was bestowed upon us from the father. Remember, Yahweh Shai said, thine is mine and mine is thine that thou has given me. Y'all must have forgot, like Roy Jones said, Yahweh Shai said, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me. So he didn't do what he wanted to do. Yahweh Shai can't do what the heavenly father said to do. So when Yahweh Shai clearly said, you have not chosen me, I have chosen you, the father told him to do that. Now that's heavy. So when the spirit is speaking, it's the father speaking through Yahweh Shai. I speak as a man when I say this, no differently than when, Yahweh, when the spirit is speaking through us. As through the prophets, Hosea 12 and 10. The Lord said he, he speak by the similitude of the ministry, by the mouth of the prophets. Okay. Psalms 119 and 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Thy word. That's what it means to be born again. See, this is spiritual, not carnal. Like I said, you got the baptism with John where it was carnal, it was physical. This baptism is spiritual. Why? Because how can you be born again, people? What you want remember, remember, was it Nicodemus that said to you, how shot? Am I going to crawl back up to my mother's womb? It's all spiritual and parabolic. Being born again is that old man being shed. That's like you being, that's like you washing away the filth of, of your sins of who you were in the past. The first, the first step to being born again is repenting because repenting means you have acknowledged and accepted you've done wrong. Now I want to do right. That's why it's called the penitentiary because the penitentiary Get you there because you penalized somewhere in life to an extent you have to receive this harsh judgment. Because the penitentiary allows you to sit back and reflect on the crimes that you have committed. Hence, repent. Re means back. Pent goes back to the penalty. So you look back at the penalty. What caused for you to have this action happen, which could be a citation, probation, years, life. Death, whatever. So that's what we do. We re so we look back on how we got to America. I'm like, dang, on what happened to the so-called Negro Latino Native American, or even what happened to us back then during the persecution when Yahweh was on the scene. Now you be like, man, wait a minute, we Israelites, we the Lord's people. We want to, man, you want the great golden calves when we came out of Egypt. The Lord split the water and everything. We, we, them, we them people. We want to go and be like the heathen. We want to worship wood and stone that have mouth that can't speak, eyes that can't see, that have ears that can't hear, and feet that's not swift to move. Adios mio. Yeah, that's us, y'all. You know?
Now, like Elder Pascal Bar said, you have to go through wickedness so that you can appreciate righteousness. I know it's kind of going other places, but it's just a spirit speaking right now. So, um, jump it down to Ephesians 5 and 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. The washing of the water by the word. Oh man, that's heavy. That remind me of another preset because it says sanctify. Sanctify means to set apart, to be holy, right? Right. So it's like um, you know how you go sometimes to the to a park, right? And then you will see like it'll say a sign that says reserved for Johnsons. Somebody went to the city and said we want to reserve this spot. This you we want to reserve these tables for a birthday party for a cookout or something like that. They sanction. That those tables, like someone sanctions a fight. So you've been sanctioned to have an office of being a member of the body of Yahweh Shai. Whether you are a prophet, you are apostle, you are a teacher, you are help aid, you help me, uh, you, you you leave, you put up prayers, blessings, all that matter, comments in the com all that matter. You anything if you can donate to the elders, whatever, five, ten. $20, anything you can do, even if you can just thumb up a brother video, any little, anything that you can do to help in this ministry, that matters. And believe it or not, Yahweh Shimei Yahweh sees it, and so does those demons. This is not a cake wall. Just because you know better, I hope you're doing better, but as you do that, remember, he that increases wisdom increases sorrow. So the further and further you go down this rabbit hole like Neo had to in the Matrix, your life may start to get a little shaky like turbulence on the plane. But always be reassured that the plane will not crash as long as you have faith. Remember when Yahweh was in the water? And people were like, if that be you, let me watch you. He said, yes, if you have faith. Well, he started drowning, right? Why? He started lacking faith. When Yahweh came and pulled him up, he said, oh, ye of little faith. Come on now, talk to me. Anyhow, I'm talking to y'all, so like it. <laughs> hey, spirit is beautiful, man. Uh, oh yeah, this is what I wanted to get because I had read Ephesians five and twenty six that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. Okay, and it says sanctify. I got my sword right here. I'm going to John seventeen and seventeen. Follow me. John seventeen and seventeen. Let me start at um, 15. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Come on now. Stop playing. The word is so beautiful. So... As I was saying to the brother, I believe it's the brother, of course, the sheep of the true baptism will hear the word of the shepherd. That's about shepherd Ron, I believe, and follow his lead, Yahweh Shai. And I draw Hebrews 10 and 20. I mean, 13 and 20, I said 10. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead, our Lord Yahweh Shai, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant. So remember, the word, right, is what cleanses us. A sheep hears the shepherd. Like a dog will hear his master's voice. Yahweh Shai is the master. We're the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mingle amongst these ravening wolves. No disrespect to Benjamin. These ravening wolves, for those who know. Right? And the shepherd will what? Be off the wolves. From harming the sheep. We're just docile. We're behind enemy lines, y'all. Look where we at. Nothing we could do against Esau. And why would you try? The Lord set them up. Watch yourself. But you understand what I'm saying? So Yahweh shots that shepherd. So the true baptism really starts in the spirit. You get you 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 repent. You come back to the Lord because you hear the voice. How do I know I was an Israelite? I read Babylon the Timber 2, and all I saw was that passage, and I think it was page 84. The slave market was full of black Jewish slaves. Man, I'm talking about mind blown. I know, I'm like, how can you really be? I was like, what? 
my grandma always be sending these people money on because she always watch CTN, Christian Channel Network. She in the spirit world now. Now she knows she an Israelite. She just send. She said, "Oh, I, man, I, what? Try to get a dollar out of her. I mean, I get it, <laughs> but try and get a dollar out of my grandma, please. But she'll send that money to them people over there. So in my mind, I'm like, how? I, all I did was type in black Israelites, and it was over. It was over, which we're not black, but that's what I typed in, and it's over. You know, so I heard the word, and ever since then, I've been hooked. And no matter what happened in my life, I'm like, if I don't do this, I'll die. So the fear compelled me, and then when I started to see the signs, it's like, well, hell, if it's going to happen, then what should I do? Serve the Lord. Why Cleveland? Why? Remember with Moses? Remember with Moses? Um, It said, well, what he... Be, be with Pharaoh for a small season rather than suffer with his people? No, I'd rather suffer. Knowing, knowing what's to happen on the back end? Right now, we look like LeBron James and um, right now we look like LeBron James and Kyrie Irving in the 2016 finals down 0-3. Everybody like, they look at me, y'all the Israelites, like, I ain't gonna win. Niggas, you speak shit, ha, ha, ha. Then we're gonna come back and win. 4-3, never done before. Because we're gonna do something that people would never thought it'd happen. Whose lives to be refuted is nothing. So like I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. But let me read this John 10, 14 through 16 and verse 27 through 28. And I'm going to close out. So like, I just had to make this video for the brother or sister, I believe. I don't know. The member of the body, y'all say of Yahweh Shah, forgive me. John 10. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep. And am known of mine, as the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Ooh, that's a cut the Christians. Martin Day Christian. He died for everybody. He just said he laid down his life for the sheep. Who are the sheep? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. And when you go to Matthew the 20, I'm getting excited. Matthew the 25th chapter, if I'm not mistaken, and he speaks about when the um uh, when the when the Son of Man shall come with his angels, they shall separate the sheep from the goat. The sheep will be on the right hand side, the goat gonna be on the left. Stop playing. That's why the Lord said, Blessed is he that readeth. That revelation, the first chapter, the third verse. Anyhow, St. John chapter 10, verse 16. And others, and other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, talking about northern kingdom, because Yahweh was saying this during the time he was in Israel. That only the only the southern kingdom was really left behind. You had um, Judah, Benjamin, and Le Levi. Judah, the so-called Negroes. Benjamin will be um, so-called Jamaican and West Indians. That's the Raven and Wolf. You hear them when they be rapping, when they not rapping, when they be singing reggae, chant down Babylon. Listen to Burning Spear. I like I like raga reggae, like Burning Spear, the Whalers. Um, Burrington Levy, I like that, you know what I'm saying, Buju Buntun, Bob Marley, that's more me right there, you know, but um, anyways, let me get back to it, John chapter 10, verse, um, Jaja, I said, forgive me, <laughs> and other sheep I have, which are not of this full northern kingdom, them also I must bring, I think he came as, um, Coots Katal, I forgot, how Yahweh how shall I visit in the northern kingdom in the past as it was in their own um, passages. And they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Notice it said, Hear my voice. It all goes back to that word. The word, his voice, the spirit, the washing of the the washing of the word. Okay. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. That's heavy. So um, with that being said, I truly pray y'all was at fine fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quamasha Allah. Wafla Babal. Shalom.